What is the genetic history of Spain and what haplogroups are common among Spanish people today? But firstly, let's quickly look at when Spain became a country and where it gets its name from. Now, Spain formed into a unitary state in the late 15th century and then evolved over the centuries, including obviously having a major imperial phase. Two early events were critical in the formation of Spain. Firstly, the dynastic union of the Crown of Castile and the Crown of Aragon in 1479 under the Catholic monarchs is often considered the de facto unification of Spain as a nation state. Shortly after this, these forces went on to conquer the Emirate of Granada in 1492, which was the last independent Muslim state in Western Europe, bringing to an end the Reconquista or Reconquest of the Iberian Peninsula by Christian forces. The name Spain comes from Hispania, the name the Romans used for the Iberian Peninsula and their provinces during the Roman Empire. Its deeper etymology is debated, but it may come from a Phoenician term meaning the land of rabbits. There are 17 autonomous communities in Spain, from Andalusia in the south to the Basque Country in the north. Various languages are spoken as well as Spanish, including Asturian, Basque, Catalan and Galician with Galicia taking its name from the ancient Celtic tribal complex, Galici, whose territory was the very northwest corner of the Iberian Peninsula before it was annexed by the Romans. In general, Spain's history features Celtic tribes, the Romans, the Visigoths, Islamic kingdoms, Christian kingdoms, global imperialism and much more, but what impact did these events have on the genetics of Spain? Out of interest, do you have Spanish ancestry? Please let me know in the comments below. As far as the formation of the ancient Spanish genome, three events were crucial in this. Firstly, western hunter-gatherers. Secondly, the first farmers, who were originally from the area around the Aegean Sea in Anatolia. And thirdly, steppe-related ancestry due to migrations from the Pontic Caspian steppe associated with the Yamnaya culture and associated peoples. A connected culture to the Yamnaya was the Bell Beaker culture, whose pottery first appeared on the Iberian Peninsula around 5,000 years ago, before spreading out into Western and Central Europe. Due to the introduction of this steppe ancestry, the Y chromosomes of Iberian males completely changed during this time. As a study that looked at the genomic history of the Iberian Peninsula over the past 8,000 years found, the lineages common in Copper Age Iberia, I2, G2, and H, were almost completely replaced by one lineage, R1B M269, with the genetic patterns pointed to higher contribution of incoming males than females. Now before we move on to look at the genetic impact of Muslim rule on Spain, let's quickly look to see if any genetic changes happened during the Iron Age, during the Roman period, and also from the Visigoths. Well, in the Iron Age, this study found a consistent trend of increased ancestry related to northern and central European populations moving into Iberia. This ancestry varied in different regions, but this study found it was at 28-43% to in three individuals at La Jolla in the modern Basque country, where Indo-European Celtiberian languages were likely spoken. I should quickly note that the Celtiberians were one of the main Celtic peoples of ancient Iberia, and they spoke the now extinct Celtic language Celtiberian. Now after this influx of northern and central European ancestry into Iberia, there was a shift in the ancestry of Iberians more to the eastern Mediterranean than the central Mediterranean, in the direction of present-day Italians and Greeks, which is quite interesting. And this could be the result of the Roman presence. For context, the Romans invaded Iberia beginning in 218 BC and held large parts of Iberia for over 600 years, until 472 AD. This study also found some small evidence of the genetic legacy of the Visigoths on Iberia, but this was more isolated and had less of a genetic impact. But what about Spain's more modern genetic history, and what impact did the Muslim kingdoms have on the genetics of Spain? Well, another really interesting study published in Nature Communications in 2019 looked at the patterns of genetic differentiation and the footprints of historical migrations in the Iberian Peninsula. The study analysed 1,413 Spanish individuals sampled from across Spain, and it had some fascinating insights into the genetic history and makeup of Spain. One of the central findings of the study is that there is varying degrees of Northwest African ancestry in Spanish people, and this was introduced during the early phase of Muslim rule. For context quickly, Muslim rule in parts of the Iberian Peninsula ran from around 711 to 1492 AD, and it is often collectively referred to as Al-Andalus. Now back to the findings of this fascinating 2019 study. We show that modern Spanish people have regionally varying fractions of ancestry from a group most similar to modern Northwest Africans, 
This African ancestry identified without making particular prior assumptions about source populations. Results from an admixture event that we date to 860 to 1120 CE corresponding to the early half of Muslim rule. Our results indicate that it is possible to discern clear genetic impacts of the Muslim conquest and population movements associated with the subsequent Reconquista. Now, one really interesting aspect on this topic of North African ancestry, contrary to what you would think just looking at a map, is that it doesn't actually correlate. The regions of Spain that are highest in, in North African ancestry doesn't actually correlate to the regions that are actually closest to North Africa, and even to regions that were under Muslim rule. For instance, the highest amounts of North African ancestry found in this study were found in Western Iberia, notably in Galicia at 11%, even though Galicia as defined today was never under Muslim rule. Another study from 2008 found a similar pattern, with this study finding the highest mainland proportions of North African ancestry in Galicia and Northwest Castile, with much lower proportions in Andalusia. But why is this, you may be asking? Well, although we don't know the precise reasons, um, some speculate it's perhaps to do with internal migratory flows, perhaps between Portugal and Galicia, and there is a genetic connection between the two that we're going to go on to just in a second, um, but perhaps it's to do with this, these internal migration flows, or perhaps it's to do with the movement of Muslim people after the Reconquista. Now, another really interesting finding of this study is that the genetic differences in Spain today tend to run horizontally across the country as opposed to vertically. And there's actually quite a lot of vertical um, genetic similarity across Spain, and this is seen as evidence of historical north to south population movements. To expand on this, this study found that at the closest level of genetic differentiation, individuals located in a small region in southwest Galicia are separated from those in the rest of Spain. The next level separates individuals located primarily in the Basque regions in the north from the rest of Spain. Further down the tree, many of the clusters closely follow east-west boundaries of Spain's autonomous communities, especially in the north of Spain. However, in the north-south direction, several clusters cross boundaries of multiple autonomous communities. Overall, the major axis of genetic differentiation runs from east to west, while conversely there is remarkable genetic similarity in the north-south direction. When this study included Portugal in a further analysis, they found that this pattern of, of vertical genetic similarity extends right across the Iberian Peninsula, and basically Portugal and Galicia are genetically quite similar and were co-clustered together. Overall though, this study found that the genetic clusters of modern Spain seem to have formed around the end of Muslim rule in the late 15th century. The patterns of genetic differentiation we observe in Spain reflects the linguistic and geopolitical boundaries present around the end of the time of Muslim rule in Spain, suggesting this period had a significant and long-term impact on the genetic structure observed in modern Spain over 500 years later. In the case of the UK, similar geopolitical correspondence was seen, but to a different time period in the past, around 600 CE. In these two cases, country-specific historical events, rather than geographical barriers, seem to drive overall patterns of population structure. But what have other studies found about the genetic history of Spain? Well, a 2008 study that analysed 1,140 males from the Iberian Peninsula and the Balearic Islands looked at the genetic impact of two groups, North African Muslims and Sephardic Jews. The results indicated a high mean proportion of ancestry from North African sources at 10.6% and Sephardic Jewish sources at 19.8%. You may also be wondering how similar Spain is to other European populations. Well, a 2010 study that looked at the genetic structure of the Spanish population found that the general Spanish population is generally similar to other European populations, although more genetically diverse than Western and Northern Europeans. But what about haplogroups? What haplogroups are common amongst the Spanish people? Well, R1b is particularly common across the whole of Iberia, and it is found in around 70% of Spanish men according to some estimates, with this haplogroup associated with the spread of steppe ancestry, as noted earlier. R1b is particularly dominant in the Basque country in Catalonia, occurring at a rate of over 80%. A branch of R1b, RDF27, is particularly common in Iberia, and may actually have originated there. The legacy of the North African influence in Spain can also be seen when looking at Y-DNA haplogroups, however, with the haplogroup U1B1B1B, which is high in North Africa, seen at reasonable levels, for Europe at least, in Iberia, especially in Cantabria and northern Spain. For Spain in general, one 2009 study put the level of North African male haplotypes at 7.7%, yet other studies indicate it could be a little lower than this. 
On the maternal side, pretty much all Europeans are characterised by the predominance of mitochondrial haplogroups H, U and T, with H1 common in Basque people and in Iberia in general. As we have seen, Spain's fascinating history is reflected in its genetics in many respects, from steppe ancestry to North African ancestry. But what is the genetic history of islands just over the water and with some shared history, Britain and Ireland? To find out, please click here. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell and tell your friends and family about this channel and let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you next time.